Having a good time, huh? Huh? Hey guys, how are you? It's Josh. And where are you? Storm. Hey right, Storm. Storm and I are out having ourselves a little off-leash hike through the graveyard. And she's allowed to go around. She's allowed to sniff. She's allowed to have herself a fantastic time. The only rules that I'm asking of her is that she comes to me when I call her immediately. She stops what she's doing. And that she doesn't go too far away from me. I'll set a perimeter. And if your dog is fully trained up, as Storm is, to set that perimeter, all I have to do is click on the e-collar, right? So my perimeter is 15 to 20 feet. That's what I'm saying in my head. So she's allowed to go up to 15 to 20 feet away from me. If she starts to pass that, I'll just click on the e-collar and you'll see she'll know exactly what to do with that. She'll slow down. And that means I have successfully set the rule of the perimeter. Good girl. As you can see, she's already keeping with me. She's not going too far. Where is she? And that's because of the training. Now there she is there, watch this. If I take this out of 14 or whatever number and I click, see she starts moving in my direction. Good girl. That is the beauty of off-leash e-collar training. Now that wasn't a recall, but I was just setting the tone telling her, come on, head back in my direction. So it's as simple as a click on the button. The more distracted she is, the higher the number is going to have to go. But a 14 was enough. It wasn't necessarily a consequence right there. It was more of a communication. It was me letting her know, let's keep moving. Again, if I click, here she comes, right? It's a beautiful thing. Next, now that we got our perimeter established and she understands what to do with the e-collar, I can practice our recall, which is when I say storm come, she has to come to me no matter where she is and sit at my feet until I release her with break. Good girl, that's a check-in. When she stops and turns and looks at me, she's checking in with me, which is always a wonderful thing. Good girl, another check-in. Good girl. Now, I didn't do anything there on the e-collar. She's just naturally checking in because I'm slowing down because I'm trying to catch her off guard so I can recall her. But she's paying attention so well. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Slobber. Slobber. She's not really giving me an opportunity to recall her, so I'm gonna put her in a down. Storm, down. Good. This is something you can do if your dog is kind of sticking with you too good, which means she's awesome. But I want to practice recall a little bit. Isn't it beautiful out here? Isn't it just beautiful out here? Down. Down. Good. Now if she pops up, it's just... I say down and tap on the e-collar like I just did there. Even from a distance it works. It's amazing. Incredible stuff. Gives you complete control. Now. Come. Good girl. Look at this goofball. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Good job. So here we are. I put Miss Storm into a down. I'm going to create some more space and practice recall. I got my e-collar. It's on a level 18 right now. I'm going to say storm come. If she doesn't come, I'm going to tap on the e-collar. If at any time she stops to sniff on her way to me, I'll also tap on the e-collar and repeat the command come. So let's see how she does. Come. Good girl. Look at you. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Nice work. Good job. Break. She is a rock star. As you guys have seen in previous videos, one cool thing that goes along with the territory of teaching a dog to be off leash, at least the way that we do it, is if I change directions, 
no matter how far she is from me or how close she is from me, she's in tune with me enough that I don't have to say anything generally and she'll just turn and follow me. So it's a very beautiful way to take a hike with your dog. So check it out. I'm not gonna tell her that I'm turning around. I'm just going to turn around and start moving in the other direction. And see, she comes right with me. So she's always got at least a, enough of her brain on me and her attention on me during this hike. She doesn't completely disengage. And that is something that we teach them. We don't ever want them to completely disengage with us when we're on a hike because then, well, then they're not paying attention. So again, if she's not paying, if she's not looking, I'm just going to turn. I'm not going to say a word. And because she checks in so often, watch her. See, I didn't do anything on the e-collar. Now I could if I need to. I could use the e-collar if I needed to. Good girl, Storm. Good girl. Where are you? Where are you? Good girl. Yes, a good girl. So that's the beauty of it. Now we can enjoy ourselves, and I, I can actually disengage and enjoy the beautiful cemetery and the views because she's paying attention to me. Isn't that awesome? Good girl. Come on, Storm. Let's go. You're a little faster than me. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Woo! That a girl. That a girl. Huh?